Today, I want to talk about your 2024 client attraction plan for your digital marketing agency and how you can set your agency up to have consistent deal flow, new clients coming into your world, pre-positioned to buy on a monthly basis. And I really believe these strategies are constantly shifting and constantly changing. But the fundamentals of client attraction and how you get clients coming to you, there's only a finite number of ways to get clients. And you wanna be kind of tapping into a number of these in order to position yourself for accelerated growth going into 2024 and beyond. So first and foremost, usually at the foundation of most of our client acquisition strategies, cold outreach, right? It's getting a list of prospects in our niche and then reaching out to them via email, via phone, via SMS, via social messenger, to get their attention, to get them as clients. One of the great things about cold outreach is it can be turned on today and has very little cost, but it's also very low leverage. It means you gotta really hustle to get the clients in that way. And your positioning is very low. Number two is inbound marketing, which would be putting out great content in the internet, on YouTube, on podcasts, that can be discovered and having clients coming into your funnel because they found some content, because they were exposed to your value in advance. I'm a big fan of inbound marketing. This is one of our top strategies in our agency, Plumbing and HVAC SEO. Um, beautiful part about it is a very high leverage. Once you've got that content out there, clients start to be exposed to it and they come to you and it's very high leverage, high positioning, but there's also a gestation period, which means when you make that content, it takes a while for it to get out there. It takes a while for it to get picked up. It takes a while for your list to grow enough that it generates fruit. So it doesn't happen immediately. There's a time frame behind it. Uh, number three is marketed lead generation. And as digital marketing agencies, we need to be eating our own dog food. Well, that's running Facebook ads for yourself, running TikTok ads, running Google ads, being on retargeting, running your own marketing to get clients to raise their hand to enter your funnel, to enter your sales process and become clients. Um, I think we should all be doing some type of marketed lead generation in our agencies. I know that it works extremely well. It's one of the key strategies that keeps our pipeline full. I think it needs to be done in tandem with inbound marketing, right? So we're building our list, we're getting some of the low-hanging fruit, but then we're also nurturing them with webinars and with podcasts and things like that. You know, there's, there's a little bit of money to be spent on marketed lead generation, right? So that's that's a big thing. Uh, number four, kind of going up this hierarchy is associations and speaking opportunities. In your niche, there's trade associations, there's mastermind groups, there's softwares, and those organizations have gatherings, national, like big group meetings, they have regional meetings. And one of the most powerful things you can do is to plug into those organizations, become involved, add value, find out when they're having those events, and find out how you can participate, either as an exhibitor, as a speaker, as a co-host potentially. Plugging into those opportunities and finding ways to add value can be huge for landing clients and positioning yourself for accelerated growth. Um, and then at the very top of this hierarchy is JV's Joint Ventures, which is finding people that are already selling to those clients that you want, those prospects you're trying to do business with, finding those people that already have those trusted relationships the people they already, the, the coaches in the industry, the softwares in the industry, and then forming a win-win that says, hey, if you refer business to me, I'll refer business to you. If you refer business to me, I'll give you a percentage of the revenue um, or some other win-win. You're only really just one joint venture away from a seven-figure agency. There's been many members in our program that were able to grow seven figures just by getting that one whale or that one strategic joint venture. And so while you're doing all of these things to build up your client attraction method, um, always be looking for those joint venture opportunities. And the other thing I think that's interesting as you look at these different client acquisition strategies is there's a very synergistic thing that happens where if all you did was cold outreach, that's gonna get a certain return. But when you do cold outreach combined with inbound marketing and marketed lead generation and speaking at events and associations, you start to build that following, you start to nurture that list, they start to see you everywhere, and that's when you start to get accelerated growth. So, you know, I really think that the combination of these strategies work together very, very nicely. And 
ultimately, when you start to join the association and be at the live events and you know, start to get to know the other exhibitors, the other speakers, that's where joint venture opportunities start to blossom, right? So, you know, these are the key strategies you can leverage to land clients and to have consistent deal flow within your agency. This is our agency growth system. And what we found that, you know, certain things we can do daily, certain things we can do monthly, certain things that we can do quarterly to keep ourselves in a constant state of getting new clients and new growth within our agency. So on a daily basis, you should all be doing some level of cold outreach, which is getting a list of prospects, either into the new businesses, the established businesses, the emerging businesses, and making introductions. And you do that via email, you do that through social messenger, on Facebook, on LinkedIn, on TikTok, right? There's cold communication that you or a marketing assistant or a SDR sales development representative is touching prospects and building your database of potential customers. You should be running Facebook ads, right? You should be running paid ads where they're seeing you in their feed, either with a personal angle or with an offer for your book or with an offer for a case study. They should be seeing you on social media. You should be running retargeting on a consistent basis. Um, daily, there should be some type of new content being dropped. And we do that through our content engine process where we're recording video in batches, we're loading it up long form on YouTube, we're slicing it up in short form for Reels and for Instagram and for TikTok and for Shorts. And that way, your niche is being exposed to your value on a daily basis. So these are the things we want to be doing daily. There's a couple of things strategically that if we do monthly, we'll position ourselves, we'll get us more clients, and we'll keep us prolific within the industry. I think that's once a month running a webinar of some sort, a training on a very particular topic. We call this the monthly webinar method. You send a couple emails about it. You post about it a couple times on social media. You show up for you know, the how to run SEO to generate better leads and results for your XYZ niche, right? Once a month, if you do that, once per month, 12 times throughout the course of the year, you will be prolific. And there's a way to do it that builds your authority, gets people to schedule in whether they attend the webinar or not, and then forces you to create brand new content that further positions you from an inbound marketing perspective. <laughs> also monthly, I think you should be doing a, an interview style podcast where you find someone that's crushing it in your niche, either one of your clients, somebody that's actually just doing really well in terms of growth, or, an, or somebody like that's a trainer or an influencer within the space, and you bring them on and you interview them and you spend 30 to 45 minutes and you create great content. If you just did these two things once a month, you'd be prolific, you'd be constantly positioning yourself, you'd be setting yourself for other joint venture and referral opportunities and more speaking opportunities as well. So one webinar per month, one podcast per month, could you do more? Sure, but that's actually enough to, to really position yourself extremely well. Now on a quarterly basis, I think you want to be doing a couple things. You want to be doing industry events, right? Which is finding those events, those conferences that the association is putting on or the coaches, mess masterminds, consultants within your niche are putting on and finding a way to plug in and be in person. As digital marketing agents, we like to hide behind the screen, right? We like to run webinars and run Facebook ads, but there's magic that happens when you fly out and you spend time person to person with your prospects. And that happens at live events and industry association meetings. And then quarterly, I think you should be looking to develop at least one new case study per quarter. So as you're getting clients and you're delivering results, you wanna constantly be trying to think about how do we turn that one-time customer into a case study where we can say, this is where they were when we started, this is where they are today, this is the result they've gotten, this is the impact that it's had on their life. Because anybody can say they're great at digital marketing in a niche, but very few can say, hey, we're great at this, here's our strategy, and here's the results. And constantly loading into the industry on YouTube, on social media, new case studies, new client wins, new validation that not only do you talk the talk, but you actually walk the walk and can generate the results for your clients, right? And so there's a million things you can do from a client acquisition perspective, but if you just did these things daily, weekly, uh, daily, monthly, and quarterly, you're gonna have consistent deal flow. KPI on this, as you think about your, your client acquisition strategy for 2024, is 15 strategy sessions per month. At a minimum, we need at least 15 strategy sessions on a monthly basis. From there, we gotta make sure we got a nice tight appointment funnel where someone can schedule in, they can get 
warmed up and come to the meeting pre-positioned to buy. We've got to have a great sales process where we ask the right questions, where we set the right expectations, where we create that gap and show them exactly what we can do and ask for the business. KPI we're shooting here for our landing clients is 30%. We want at least 30% of the prospects we meet with to say yes, to get us that credit card authorization or acceptance. Um, by doing that, you'll have consistent deal flow and new clients coming in, but we also need to retain those clients. So we wanna map out some world-class onboarding, wow them out of the gates, have great communication rhythm and reporting that keeps them engaged, keeps them excited, uh, and then develop our account management process where we're able to build that team and have the team manage those client relationships. And the KPI we're shooting for there is no more than a 3% monthly churn. Right? We, we want 97 plus monthly average retention. And this is the growth system. If you think about all of the clients that have come through the seven-figure agency growth system, um, at this point, we've now got 103 agencies that have built to seven figures and beyond. And they all run this growth system and it's kind of the key foundation to their success and kind of how they've grown and how they've scaled. So hopefully this was helpful. Hopefully you get some new ideas and insights on how you can set yourself up to be a client magnet going into 2024 and really have consistent revenue growth. Uh, if you'd like to go deep with this and kind of get some of our deeper level training on how to land clients, how to deliver great results, how to package your program, how to scale and add a million dollars or more over the next 12 to 24 months in your digital marketing agency, I suggest you go to sevenfigureagency.com slash roadmap. That's sevenfigureagency.com slash roadmap. There's a great training there. I'm offering it to you completely free of charge here in January where you can dive in, you get access to that training and get the insights that you need. So hopefully you got value. If you enjoyed this video and you're excited for 2024, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Let me know if you got follow-up questions or thoughts and share this with another agency that maybe is struggling to land clients or kind of get the momentum that they're after. That's it for today. Thanks so much for watching.